Hey Sim Studio users. In this video, we explore the model import process and take a look at the repair browser. Before we open a model, let's talk about some of the import options and why they're important. To access the import settings, click the three bar icon and select preferences. In the general category, find the three options for issue fixing and reporting. We need to choose a setting appropriate for your model to give us the right amount of control over the process. For example, for a smaller model, you might want SimStudio to automatically fix geometry problems by selecting Fix and Report Issues. With this option, SimStudio analyzes and attempts to repair your model without your interaction. Any remaining issues are shown in the Repair Browser. For larger models that may have multiple geometry problems, or to have more control over the repair process, you can choose one of the other options. Don't check for issues imports the geometry without checking for problems, so it is the quickest way to view the model. Check for issues only analyzes the geometry for problems, but doesn't attempt to fix them. You can then use the repair browser and SimStudio commands to pick and fix the problems. Keep in mind that the settings you choose remain enabled for all future imports or until you change them. Let's choose Check for Issues Only. Starting from the toolbar, we open our file, in this case a step format file containing 3D printer geometry. SimStudio imports the model and analyzes the geometry for potential problems. If no problems are found, the model browser displays in the graphics window with the geometry. Since there are problems with our model, the repair browser displays to help us further investigate issues and make appropriate repairs. Because we enabled Check for Issues Only, the next step is to view the issues SimStudio found. Start by expanding the folders under Potential Issues. When you click a node, SimStudio displays the error with a line pointing to the geometry problem. You can quickly toggle through all issues and view the model locations. In addition, a dialog appears providing more detail about the issue and suggests possible repair methods. Pin the dialog to keep it visible. You can also right-click issues or folders to view the context menu. Choose from the suggested commands to perform operations appropriate for your current workflow. After you finish evaluating and fixing issues, return to the model browser. These are just a few of the options and tools available in SimStudio. Open your models using the different SimStudio import settings to see which options work best for you. And look for more SimStudio videos that will help you to achieve better and faster simulation results.